when you are praying in, in other tongues you are plugging yourself to the power source and you are generating energy on the inside so as you are going in the spirit kayato zini mini kayen don zivele taya gadabaha zon don ben den gen den don zen bele kayen na noze laboram don zili frene kayen na nanha jena you may have entered your prayer room weak in the spirit but you emerge strengthened in your inner man hello everyone good day good day yeah welcome to another episode this is episode four you know in our ongoing series the baptism of the holy spirit series you know and um in the previous episodes we've been able to um outline the benefits of speaking in other tongues we've been able to connect the dots you know to trace in the baptism of the holy spirit from the old testament to the new testament that is from the law to the prophets to jesus to the early disciples and we've seen that you know this this concept is something that has been in the prophetic timeline ever since it's not a new thing it's not something that um that is just um the penti the thing for pen Pentecostal churches is something that has been in the mind of God and has been unveiled in the New Testament. That means it's for everybody. It's for everybody. One of the scriptures we saw say that in the last days I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh upon all flesh upon everyone it means that the baptism of the holy spirit is for everyone. It's not just for those that belong to certain circles. It's not just for those that, you know, or for the pastors or the, the the people that are the men of god it's for everybody do you understand so if you've not um you know watched the previous episodes the link to the playlist would be in the description below do where well to assess them have them watch them and so that you 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 come to terms with us do you understand so today we'll be making progress and we'll be seeking to understand what is the posture of the early disciples how did they see this concept of you know being baptized in the holy ghost the, is this something that they considered valuable is this something that they considered important to them you know what was their disposition what what what, what was their um well, which emphasis did they place on it was there much emphasis or, or you know they just you know trivialized it so that's what we'll be seeking to understand in this um particular episode but before we move into that i want us to briefly look at the concept of the baptism of the holy spirit we've not actually you know defined it we've not actually we've, we've just um you know been able to trace that it is from it's it has been in the prophetic timeline but today let's actually look at it what is what exactly it is is it because um for some of us we've been um from the things we've heard we may be getting confused like when we say it is the coming upon of the holy spirit what do we actually mean is it that i've not had the holy spirit ever since i gave my life to christ is this a new holy spirit you know um so um to clarify that matter the baptism of the holy spirit is simply another dimension of the holy spirit is it is it is one holy spirit so every believer if you have given your life to jesus christ if you if you've said jesus come into my life you know um forgive me of all my sins i surrender my life to you thank you for dying on the cross for me i come into and i believe in you and you know it is it means that you have the holy spirit as long as you are a child of god because actually it's the holy ghost that does the work of redemption is he is the one that is there for we have been baptized into one body by the same spirit so it is the holy ghost that baptizes us into the body of christ <laughs> do you understand so if you don't have the holy spirit it means that you have not been saved it means that you are not a believer so every believer we all have the holy spirit do you understand now when we talk about the baptism of the holy spirit it is simply another dimension of the holy spirit it's simply if i may use the word measure it's simply another measure of the holy spirit that is given to us um you know majorly um, because of our assignment our service to god you know to be able to do things um 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 um, um easily or more efficiently as it were so someone once uh, made an analogy that you, you have the lifts and you have the stairs 
somebody that is not baptized with the holy spirit is, is like the one that is taking the stairs and going you know to the topmost floor but the person that is baptized with the holy spirit is like the one taking the lift they may all arrive at the same location but not at the same time so and and so someone that is walking with the spirit of god effectively is like someone that is you know that has taken the lift do you understand now um let's look at the life of jesus Let, let's look at how how jesus was able to you know also present towards these two dimensions of the holy spirit so the first scripture we'll be looking at is in john chapter 20 verse 22 you know when jesus you know has has been crucified dead buried now he has risen from the dead and he was talking with his disciples and the scripture says and when he said this he breathed on them and said to them receive the holy spirit so we see jesus talking to his disciples and he told them he breathed on them and told them receive the holy ghost question if jesus told them receive the holy ghost did they receive yes they did receive yes they did receive they did receive the holy ghost if jesus told them receive and not <laughs> don't mind me not even only telling them he breathed on them do you understand and then say down to them receive the holy spirit that means that they received but in the book of luke chapter 24 verse 49 luke chapter 24 verse 49 the scripture says you know this teaches us speaking um in the account of luke he says listen carefully i am sending the promise of my father the holy spirit upon you but you are to remain in the city of jerusalem until you are clothed fully equipped with power from on high so in the book of luke jesus was telling them don't do anything for me tarry in jerusalem until you are endued with power from on high i am sending the promise of the father which is the holy spirit upon you so in the book of john jesus told them receive the holy spirit in the book of luke he told them tarry for the holy spirit was jesus confused no is it is it is simply reflecting the two dimensions of the spirit of god the two dimensions the one that we receive inside us and the one we receive upon us the same holy spirit but different workings different dimensions the spirit within and the spirit upon so every believer you know has has the the, the spirit within do you understand but the spirit upon is what we call the baptism of the holy spirit so we must all yield to these different dimensions or workings of the spirit do you understand so that's just the difference so the spirit within is connected to the life of god the spirit upon is connected to the power he told them you'll be endued with power even in acts chapter 1 verse 8 it says and and ye shall receive power after that the holy ghost is come upon you after he's come upon you so the 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 spirit upon is majorly for you know service to god to, for being effective in ministry every single believer has a ministry when i when i say ministry i'm not talking about your pastors or your um prophets your um the evangelists or the the apostles i'm talking about the ministry of every believer so before you do anything for jesus there is a part that he says be endured to that part it will make your work effective do you understand so that's the um the the, the brief definition of baptism of the holy spirit simply the coming upon of the holy spirit another dimension of the holy spirit so now what was the posture of the early disciples how did they see it now we'll be looking at two scriptures you know one in the life of the the disciples or the apostles that were with jesus and one in the life of apostle paul that was not with jesus physically when he was on on earth the first scripture we'll be looking at is in the book of acts chapter from verse 14 to 18 the scripture says when the apostles so the background story is that um there was persecution and in jerusalem so there were um the disciples began to spread abroad and wherever they went to they went with the gospel of jesus do you understand so 
um due to the persecution in jerusalem some people ran to samaria and then there they preached the good news and then the people of samaria began to give their lives to christ now the scripture says verse 14 when the apostles in jerusalem heard that the people of samaria had accepted the word of god they sent peter and john to them 15 they came down and prayed for them that they might receive the holy spirit for he had not yet fallen on any of them they had simply be ba been baptized in the name of the lord jesus as his possession then peter and john laid their hands on them one by one and they received the holy spirit do you understand so these ones in samaria had come to the knowledge of jesus and they have they had given their life to christ now the apostles in jerusalem sent peter and john to them and it in, it's interesting to know that the first thing that they did one of the first things that they did when they got to samaria was to pray for these ones to be baptized with the holy spirit <laughs> so it means that it was just a burden in their heart they were they, they were like um this is so important every believer must come into this experience so immediately they got the, the first thing on their mind was baptism of the holy spirit now we make progress to the life of um apostle paul in the book of luke 19 verse 1 to 6 see the scripture says it happened that while apollos was in corinth paul went through the upper districts and came down to ephesus and found some disciples he asked them did you receive the holy spirit when you believed in jesus as the as, as the christ and they said no we have not even heard that there is a holy spirit he and he asked them into what then were you baptized they said into john's baptism paul said john performed a baptism of repentance continually telling the people to believe in him who was coming after him that is to confidently accept and joyfully believe in jesus the messiah and savior after hearing this they were baptized again this time in the name of the lord jesus and when paul had laid his hands on them the holy spirit came on them and they began speaking in unknown tongues and prophesying <laughs> so in this story apostle paul meets people that were supposedly believers but they had they had received the wrong message so they were believing in the baptism of john they were walking in the baptism in the baptism of, of john the baptist so when paul now you know brought the real gospel to them the scripture said they were now baptized in the name of our lord jesus christ and immediately paul laid hands on them and said receive the spirit upon and he baptized them with the holy spirit why would he quickly do that it was because he he valued or knew the importance or attached a great significance to the baptism of the holy spirit so immediately these ones were saved the next thing on his agenda was the baptism of the holy spirit you cannot do without this you cannot do without this i'm not giving you any chance and and all of that do you understand so from these two um scriptures we are able to say that the early disciples put so much importance on the baptism of the holy spirit you know they saw it as something that was crucial to every believer that every believer must you know come into this dimension of the holy ghost so they they portrayed it as something significant something important and the next question is why why did they think it was important the first answer will be you know before we start talking about you know their experience we are we'll talk about that this was the instruction they received from jesus one of the final instructions and it came with a warning so jesus told them do not do anything for me until you are endued with power until you have baptized with the holy ghost so that instruction came with a warning don't even do anything jesus says go in into all the other earth make disciples of all, all nations so he had already given them the great commission now he was telling them don't do anything so it means that jesus put so much emphasis so much importance and that importance rubbed off on the disciples do you understand ah so even though the 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 great commission was important to jesus but yet he told them tarry in jerusalem until you are endued with power from on high then you'll be my witnesses so as 
As a result of this, the disciples came to understand that this is an important matter. Number two was that they had experienced the benefits. Now, the early disciples, the 12 um, apostles, they were ordinary men. It was Peter that denied Jesus in, in the front of a servant girl. But when the Holy Ghost came, he was filled with boldness and he stood among multitudes and was able to present the gospel and 3,000 people were saved. So they had experienced this thing. They had experienced the power in, in, in this experience. So they knew that for any believer to be effective, the person must be baptized with the Holy Spirit. So that these are the reasons, some of the reasons that I believe that they that they had that made them in, 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 you know put so much emphasis on this concept, on this experience rather. And then number three was that they understood the dispensation. I talked about this in, in the previous episode, that they understood that we are in the dispensation of the Holy Ghost. So anybody that seeks to do anything worthwhile must, you know, must assess the dimensions of the Spirit, must assess the dimensions of the Holy Ghost. So we are in the time, in the dispensation of the Holy Ghost, the last days, the dispensation of the Spirit. Do you understand? So, if you are out there and you are saying, ah, maybe I can do without the baptism of the Holy Spirit, you are seeing from the scripture that it is important that you get baptized with the Holy Spirit. It will make your work more effective. It will make your work with God and your work for God more effective. It's something that you cannot do without or that you shouldn't do without as a believer. Do you understand? Oh, Shaka Baba Bahana Siata. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you for this episode. Ke Banan Tonzi Si Freteka Balande, Shia Kabalagadash. In the name of Jesus. Now we'll be ending this episode here. Um, tomorrow we'll start looking at some of the misconceptions of speaking in other tongues. And then, um, and then we'll now, um, finally close with the experience the baptism of the holy spirit so if you are not yet baptized sit tight don't go anywhere and if you want to seek um if you want to know the mechanism or <laughs> in, in quotes the the way to get others into this experience also you know don't miss the coming episodes thank you very much so if you love this video if you like it give the video a thumbs up you know and then make comments in the comment section what is it that you have learned what are the things that you know beyond what beyond what we said are there some things that you also know that will help us in this discourse put it in the comment section um are there questions you have that you, you would love me to respond to put it in the comment section what all this will do is that it would you know uh, 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 it will increase the algorithm of the video and then make it um, accessible to other um, 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 YouTubers so that people, other people can come into the same experience that you are enjoying. So I want you to do that and you know, it's, it's, uh, it's also a means to, you know, spread the gospel. Thank you very much and do have a lovely day. See you tomorrow for another episode. Bye.